What's up guys, it's me Jamar Dawson for Remnant Outdoors. Hope you're doing great today. What I wanted to talk about was something that I did not think I'd have any interest in for a variety of reasons, but the price point, it just dangled out there for way too long and it was way too tempting to not pick one up and that is the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. This is chambered in nine millimeter. You could pick one of these up for about $2.99. They call it the Glock clone that's better than Glock. Let's see if that's true. So you can pick one of these up for about $299, like I said, and this thing has it all. I was almost disgusted at how good this pistol is. So let's talk about the features. Uh, in hand, it feels marvelous, okay? It just feels like it's supposed to be there. Uh, you have just enough space, if you have medium-sized hands like me, uh, to get everything on that grip, to get a good grip on this back strap here, uh, up to this beaver tail point, and it just naturally kind of falls in line where you're in the right position with your shooting hand. Uh, you do have this little groove here, uh, for your middle finger to go uh, and then you have uh, space for your bottom two fingers. Before we get too far into this, I want to say most parts that you could buy for a Glock 19 Gen 3 fits into this gun. You want to put a new trigger that fits a Gen 3 or is marketed for the Gen 3, you could put it in here. If you want to take the Glock Gen 3 trigger, I've seen people do that and put it in the PSA dagger. Um, the only thing that I've seen that doesn't really fit all the time is a custom Kydex holster. So Kydex holsters for a Glock 19 Gen 3, uh, the geometry is slightly different, uh, particularly in the slide part of the PSA dagger than it is in a Glock, so it may not fit. So there's a lot of aftermarket grips that you could buy for various guns. Uh, you've probably seen them all over the internet. Well, this already comes with some really good grip. It really does feel like skateboard grip tape. Um, I'm not going to get anything else, like I'm not going to get anything extra for this gun. That's just how good this really is. This is a compact size weapon, fits in the compact pistol category, but it's not small by any means. The one thing that I don't like that much about Glocks is it just feels so boxy in this point, so I feel like I'm kind of really like, really trying to spend a lot of, of, of energy holding on to the gun but this is a little bit slim of a profile, so it makes it much easier for me to grip and therefore control it. Unloaded weight is 22.4 ounces. Uh, that comes out to about 1.4 pounds, so a very, very light firearm. Uh, we'll talk about the recoil translation in a second. The barrel for this is a 3.9 inch barrel, which is excellent uh, for accuracy. It's enough uh, distance to be able to put some good spin on the bullet before it exits the barrel, um, but it's a really, really, really usable barrel uh, that I've been able to at least test thus far that comes with this weapon. Let's talk about the sights. I really do like these sights. These are dot sights, so you have two in the rear, one in the front. Uh, it's hard to tell in this video, but the really interesting thing about this sight system is that these dots are bigger some of the other pistol sight systems that I have. So it's it's big enough, you point and you shoot. It's a striker fired weapon. Uh, you do get this really interesting feature here, uh, very similar to what you see on Glocks. You can kind of see this hinge right here. Uh, really the same characteristics. This is a safety. So this is the primary safety that you're going to have with this weapon. Of course, this one is empty. You have this little hinge that once it comes past a certain point, it activates to where the rest of the trigger can move. And then you get the uh, firing pin release. Um, but if I just press on this portion, it's not gonna uh, go all the way back and engage the firing pin. I have to pull on this part, bottom part where there's the hinge, very similar to a Glock safety mechanism. This does not have a thumb safety, it only has that trigger safety there. The trigger pull on this is about six pounds or so. It doesn't feel like it. It feels super buttery smooth, um, but it is around six pounds in the sight radius.
from the, as measured by me, uh, from the edge of the rear sight to the front of the front sight is approximately six and a half inches. So a pretty good sight radius for a compact pistol. This is about as long as you can get for a compact sized pistol. Let's talk about the magazines and other accessories. As I already mentioned multiple times, whatever's compatible for a Glock 19 Gen 3, most parts can be compatible with this PSA. Um, the magazines are certainly no different. This is a Magpul P Mag, which is a standard 15 round magazine. You can buy several places, PSA, Academy Sports, a lot of different places, and it fits and it really just looks like it's supposed to be there. Now, of course, this model, as you can see, it doesn't have a uh, drill and tap on the top for a red dot sight, um, but they make models for that. This pistol, like most new modern pistols, has a light rail in the front, uh, and so you could fit a lot of accessories. The geometry, as you do see, is a little bit different right here in the trigger guard than it is for the Glock Gen 3, but for the most part, everything that I've seen and looked at as far as anything that, like laser light combos, etc., etc., is going to be just fine. Continuing with the aftermarket, I mean, there's really not a whole lot I could say. I mean, there's just really as many things as your heart can imagine. You can find that on PSA's website as far as slides and stuff like that. Um, there's quite a few colors that they manufacture for for uh, the frame and the slide, but you can mix and match them, and they actually look pretty good mixed and matched. Let's talk about breaking this pistol down. Extremely easy. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Let's get it done. Okay, we're gonna pull down on these little tabs here. This is just like a Glock. You're gonna pull these, pull this back slightly, pull the trigger, and then pull it off. So now you've separated the frame effectively from the slide. Very simple to do, uh, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's extremely frustrating. Uh, now you can take this spring off, uh, the guide rod and spring system off, and you can clean the inside of the gun. Now to get this back on, I'm just going to make sure all these notches line up as you're entering in. Just take your time, pull it back, and you're good to go. And that's how you fill strip and then reassemble the PSA dagger. Now there are some cons to this pistol, like every pistol. This is just for right-handed shooters. Well, I mean, if you're left-handed, technically you can shoot it. It's just, you have the magazine release on the left side of the gun. And so you're really gonna have to get creative if you're a left-hand shooter on how to eject the magazine. So that's one thing. Two, it does not have a thumb safety. Now to some people, that is not a con. I like to have the thumb safety, especially if I wanna carry one in the chamber. Um, but this safety system uh, has been kind of tried and true over the years. Like I said, this is modeled after the Glock trigger safety system and it is pretty safe, okay? Another con is simply the fact that when you wanna go and buy a holster, particularly a Kydex holster, one that has good retention once you put your gun in there, there's not a whole lot on the market so the prices are a little bit up there. That's really all the cons that I could think of for this gun, guys. I mean, this thing shoots true. You saw the examples that I put in this video. Um, recoil is extremely manageable. As far as ammunition, extremely plentiful because it's nine millimeter only. And then the plethora of parts, man, it gets an A plus because anything that fits a Glock Gen 3 for the most part is going to fit this. Guys, I can't find a whole lot wrong with this. I would recommend this. If you need to buy your first pistol, this is quality. Say if I went to go shoot this and I did not know how much this cost, I would have said this was a $500 pistol, right? Not no $300 pistol. I would not have guessed that in a million years. $300 with a magazine. I believe if you buy from PSA, it comes with one or two magazines. This is a great deal. Uh, pound for pound, dollar for dollar, this might be the best deal in pistols, maybe the best deal in firearms right now. So I highly recommend you check it out. Make sure you are safe. Make sure you buy a case and you have a place to store it securely, all those things. But this is a great gun. I'm gonna have this for a long time. I'm probably gonna get me another one. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or just general comments, leave one below. Please subscribe if you haven't and give me a thumbs up. It really does help. 
Uh, I do dedicate this video to my mom. She passed away about a month and a half ago, and she always supported my outdoors endeavors, my recreational shooting, my YouTube, all that kind of stuff. And though she's gone with us uh, in the present, in the body, we believe, man, that she's with her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you know, she lived a full life, a life of love, a life of advancement, and helped a lot of people. And so I believe that, hey, even though uh, she's, you know, went through a nine year battle with cancer and is no longer here. Man, you know, she's won. She fought the good fight, she kept the faith, and she finished the race. So, um, if you wanna talk about that, talk about God, whatever, hey, this is Outdoor Channel where we can do it. Uh, God bless, y'all stay safe out there. Please, be a responsible gun owner if you choose to buy a gun. Take it easy until next time. Peace out.